my thoughts and our, prayer, our thoughts and prayers are with uh, you know, Coach Carmen and his wife Barbara, so we're thinking about them. And obviously, tough circumstances for them. Um, obviously, tough for, you know, for the team today. Um, but, uh, as far as the game goes, you know, I thought we moved the ball um, against the zone. Um, I thought a lot of guys you know, sort of you know, looking for each other. Uh, it's a hard, both of those zones are hard to play against, so I thought we were just aggressive and did a good job of moving the ball early on and we made chance. What were the keys to the game starting out so strong for you guys today? What was that mindset of the guys and how were you able to handle that so well throughout the game? Uh, well, the, uh, you know, like I said, Jacob banged a bunch of threes, so that always helps you scoring points. And, uh, and then when you're, you're scoring and you're getting stops, you know, it's, it's, it sort of creates a little momentum. Um, you know, just you know, we've got to be better the second half and not the weakest the second half. Uh, but I thought we came out, you know, aggressively and did the things that we practiced. Mike, how much better has the team gotten the last couple of weeks at being able to defend aggressively without fouling? Um, yeah, I mean, something we work on every day. You know, uh, every team presents a different challenge, different problems, different personnel. Um, so, you know, I thought we did a good job on uh, Floyd today. He's, you know, it's a handful. He's a really difficult guy to guard, and you got to guard him with, you know, your whole team. Uh, so I thought not just the people guarding him individually, but guys helping him do a good job. I mean, Said is obviously you know, really, really good defensively, but do we even take it for granted a little bit on that end? I, I, there was one possession in the second half where he got a black, and then he also broke up an alley-oop on the same possession. I mean, just how much is he doing on that end of the floor to disrupt things? Yeah, no, he does that type of stuff every game. You know, he's all over the place. Uh, you know, he's been, you know, leading us, you know, on both ends of the floor. Uh, he's been terrific, and there's you know a ton of stuff that he does out there that just prevents them from you know doing what they want to do, and it just doesn't show up in the stats. But he, he stuffs the stat sheet too, with steals and blocks and rebounds, and you know, it's been terrific all year. Uh, Jacob, obviously a great performance tonight, moving around a lot off ball. What does his presence do for your offense? Uh, well, he can make shots, you know, he can the defense, uh, especially against zones where we need to make shots on the perimeter. Uh, he did that for us, and uh, his defense is uh, better. And, uh, Mike, you, on Wednesday you lose Sam and you still find a way to win on the road and then today no Sam and no Marvin for a third game. What does that say about the team's depth right now and being able to continue winning without guys? Yeah, I think uh, you know the guys that are playing are just doing more. And, uh, you know, Sam always you know, made shots and rebounded for us. Uh, today I think Larry had about eight rebounds and you know, other guys are just doing more. Uh, Stacy's rebounding, uh, Stacy and Jacob are making shots today. Uh, so I just, uh, just need other guys to, to sort of do the things that Sam does. Do you expect to have either Sam or Marvin or both back at Navy on Wednesday? I uh, don't know. Um, sort of day-to-day -day right now. So. Thanks, Mike. Thanks.